John Corden took in a song at the Kessler Theater as the U.S. Senator stopped in Dallas to celebrate the Save Our Stages Act. Cornyn authored the new law that provides grants for live music venues, performance arts organizations, and theaters. We all want to make sure in life that we can make a difference, and uh, I think today uh, that's really brought home to me that we together, uh, working, uh, have made a difference. The senator heard stories about the pandemic's impact on the arts community for places like the AT&T Performing Arts Center. We did have to lay off 55% of our staff and the Kessler Theater. We had done several sold out shows, already a dozen sold out shows to begin uh, 2020. And then of course, March the 15th, everything came to a complete stop. We were faced with the decision of whether we would have to completely shut down an iconic, important cultural institution for the city of Dallas. But now there's hope. The new law with bipartisan support already provided more than $750 million for nearly 700 Texas venues. This is part of our culture. This is part of our, our state's identity. And as live music returns, leaders here are especially grateful because Congress set the stage for continued success. It, it turned despair into hope for so many performing arts centers across the country. It's nice to be able to, to look at things like your calendar and be like, all right, I think, I think I'm gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. In Dallas, I'm Alex Rozier.